Hey guys. Hey guys. We are Mountains to Sea Carnivore. We have had a busy, busy week and did not get out to walk uh, at all this week. Um, so we didn't get a chance to do our walking video. Um, it's the weekend now. We just got finished shooting another video for you guys on Lori's Superfood. Uh, how I make the uh, pork bellies that she loves and okay. <laughs> lives on. That'll be coming out later on in the week, but we did want to get you guys an update on this uh, day 88 of our carnivore journey and let you know what's been going on. It's been a very busy couple weeks and especially this week. We've got a lot to talk about. All right, let's start off the top. The primary reason that we started this was for weight loss. I am at about the same place I was last week, 263. So that's down 50 pounds since I started watching what I ate, 44 pounds since I started carnivore. What about you? Well, I, I do have some non-scale victories and I do have some scale, uh, scale victories. So I will say on day 88, I have officially hit 16 pounds. Yay. Yay. Uh, my non-scale is I feel smaller in areas that were like maybe not in my gut but like in my stomach and my and my glutes or butt you know like uh it, it fits differently in pants that's that's uh definitely a good non-scale victory and i'm feeling better you know i had a one of the things i'm going to talk about is that i had an issue with uh some uh, stomach ache and pains and so i wasn't feeling good for a few days and i was working a lot and i've had not a lot of work-life balance and so that's what I was uh, some of what I'm going to talk about so I can just go into it if you want yeah um, um, well before we get to that okay um, I was going to talk about well why are we having such a problem with our work-life balance well it's fall <laughs> it's, it's the busy season where <laughs> yeah. we live <laughs> it's definitely the busy season where we live uh, I don't think we've mentioned this before on the channel but we own a brewery of all things to go carnivore on yeah um, yeah I'm the head brewer so I make all the beer the cider the mead the seltzer uh, that keeps me busy all week long uh, of course we also have our other uh, YouTube channel and that normally keeps me busy busy Saturday and Sunday editing all those videos that we're shooting for that uh, that's kind of a travel vlog channel and on a side note we no longer can trust our taste buds because since we're not doing any type of sugar or carbs, our taste buds are different and everything is sweeter that maybe wasn't sweeter before. So uh, as a brewer, I have, I have to taste the beer. Um, I don't drink beer anymore. I don't drink any alcohol right now, um, but I still have to taste it because I'm in charge. I'm the one that knows all of our products. I know what they're supposed to taste like. So. That's a bit of a challenge, but you know, it, it is what it is, um, and it is hard trusting my taste buds to know what, you know, if it's on on target or if there's an off flavor. Maybe I'm more sensitive to to some flavors and that I didn't notice before in a particular product. It makes life a little bit more difficult. And most times, as a carnivore, people won't drink or have cravings to drink or anything like that. I will say honestly, I do drink occasionally. Um, very occasionally. I normally don't have any cravings or anything like that, but uh, like I did have craving this week. I've been wanting to have um, a glass of wine and I fought, I fought, I fought it. And finally last night I was like, you know what? I'm gonna give into this craving. This way it will go away. Now, I don't know if that's gonna help for anybody or if that's good for anybody else, but it's kind of out of my system and I have no desire to continue drinking or doing anything like that. And I had one glass of six ounces of red wine. I tried to get the driest wine I could find. And it took me probably an hour to an hour and a half to drink because I take little, little sips. And I was halfway through and I was going to stop, put it down. And then I went back. I ended up finishing it. But. So my belly pains that I had, I thought it may have been food poisoning or some sort of a stomach bug. I didn't know what it was. It happened to me on a Friday as I was eating lunch. And I've never really experienced pains in my belly like that. It wasn't in my gut. It was actually in my belly. And I went home early from work and rested. Went to bed early. Uh, in the middle of the night, everything pretty much came out. And I was feeling 
other, I was feeling fine the next day, other than weak. And I had to go into work because there was something that uh, I needed to do pretty early. And I walked up the stairs and I got to the top of the stairs and I walked out into the tap room and, you know, one of my employees said to me, are you all right? And I'm like, oh, I'm just a little lightheaded, you know, but oh, I'm fine. You know, so I was like, okay, nothing in my system. I wanted to drink and I wanted to eat, but every time I thought about it, I got nauseous. And oh, I did weigh myself that morning and I did lose two pounds. And I will say, and this is one of the things that I, that I want to say because not everybody um, realizes this or knows this, but when you're dehydrated, kind of like take, uh, I'm going to use um, Kelly Hogan's example. Uh, you take a, a washcloth and, and, and a dry washcloth and you hold it in one hand and then you wet another washcloth and you hold it in your hand, which one's heavier, right? Because one's hydrated and one is not. So I was all excited. I was like, oh, that's a terrible way to lose two pounds. But yeah, I lost two pounds. Gained it right back as soon as I got hydrated and actually had that back in my system. So it did take me about another week to take it all off. Um, so that just, I wanted to say, you know, dehydration and hydration. So don't be discouraged when that happens. And uh, so that was my belly pain thing. And I've been fine ever since, although I did work. How many hours did I work that day? A lot. <clears throat> yeah, we had. I was, I was hurting for certain. <laughs> Lori was doing volunteer work at the local university, uh, running the concession stand, stand for uh, the football game. Uh, that's for our, our local Main Street Association. And I was out of town because I was at uh, Dr. Lisa Wiedemann's uh, meetup over in Tennessee. And, you know, I, I'm headed back and our tap room's getting killed. We had Short staff. two people call out that day, mm -hmm. and so I ended up having to go in after I got done with a you know five-hour round-trip drive, and so I spent Saturday night washing dishes this week uh, while Laurie is working behind the bar. Uh, so gosh, I don't know how many hours you ended up oh, working. Was there was like, like six thirty to yeah. eleven fifteen, and we were at the college at eleven. Oh, and got done there a little after five so yeah. it, was, it was a long day i had so, four ounces of pork belly to eat all day <laughs> yeah so that's that was uh one of the things and that kind of set us off at the beginning of the week uh you know that was a set last saturday and trying to catch up from from that Lori basically crashed on Sunday. I did. I had to work. I, I had a lot of editing to get done. So the rest of the week, we were just, we had meetings and we had events and things that we had to be around for. Mm -hmm. And neither one of us felt like getting out. So we yeah. didn't go walk. Right. I did have some movement in some air. Like I walked to the bank um, yes, Friday um, instead of taking my car. I was like, you know what? That's movement. I'm going to count that. So... You know, because I would have normally just hopped in my car and, and went to the bank. But no, I, I took the, the 10, 50, well, I guess 20 round trip or whatever to, to come back. So I to walk there and back. So something, small steps. Take take those victories as you can. Something that is a, is a very helpful tip that I learned really quickly on. And that is make sure that you have a lot of dental floss or dental placards <laughs> with you at all times. Yeah. Want to give a car and a good gift? Give them a pack of placards. Yes. Because you need them all day, every day. You do. I think my dentist is going to be happy the next time I go visit. Because I'm actually time. flossing, flossing <laughs> my teeth. It's the yeah. most I've ever flossed my teeth. And like you said, you know, it's good for your teeth health. Yeah. But at the same time, it, it's something that I found very necessary. So tell us about your victories or anything that you have this week or or anything that you're dealing with, yeah. like we did. You know, it's it's a part of life. Sometimes you get busy, but you know, you always, each day is a new day. <laughs> yeah, so let us know any challenges that you have. Go ahead and put it down in the comments for us. And uh, we'll definitely be looking for those and, and answer in any way that we can. And tell us your successes too, because yeah. those are always great to hear too. It's always great to, to hear other people's stories. Um, we're just one couple going along this path trying to uh, get healthy. Um, there's so many more people out there. We're hoping that this channel encourages other people uh, to make changes in their own life or to continue with the changes that they've already made and not give up. 
Mm -hmm. Because if you give up, you're never going to win. All right, guys. Thanks for joining us this week. If you like what we're putting out, go ahead and hit that thumbs up button. That really means a lot to us. And if you really like it, go ahead and hit the subscribe and the notification bell as well. Because that lets YouTube know that you like what we're putting out. And that way YouTube will let other people just like you know uh, about our videos and show it to them. All right, guys. Until next time, stay, stay strong, strong, stay, stay motivated, motivated, and, and eat, eat your meat. meat.